but we crunk lit any bitch. Yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Ah! Today, 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 I just thought, let me go ahead and sit down, talk to you guys. Haven't done one of these videos in quite a little while, okay? So we're just gonna sit down, talk, chit chat about what is going on in my life right now. My brain is like, -do 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 -do. that's why my hair look like this. Don't come for me, okay? I, we gonna get it together real soon. But yeah, I just thought, let me just grab the camera real fast and talk to my girlies or whatever. So, boom, how y'all been? <laughs> How y'all been in y'all life? Hope you've been good. Hope you're doing great. Hope all the blessings have been coming your way. Most of you, all of you, everyone should know. Um, I just had a baby. Azariah is two months old. He will be three very this month, actually, on the 24th. Very, very soon. This time literally goes by so fast. I am very much so still like mom brain, brain fog, whatever you want to call it. Y'all, I don't even remember what I ate for dinner last night. Like, it's bad. What else been popping with me? I'm a mother of two now. Now, and it's just like <sighs> every time I said that I just gotta breathe because I just would never like picture myself having two kids let alone one two is very big for me um no I would not be having more everyone keeps asking me keeps oh are you gonna try for a girl oh, you want a girl why you be doing that not gonna have another kid do not want to have another kid ever in life and let me not like emphasize that so deeply because wonder if I do have another kid then the kid gonna see this video like wow but let me stop emphasizing as of right now i'm content with my two kids okay <sighs> i'm sitting on the floor i really don't be doing that but i feel like this is the vibes for this video okay postpartum life is it's been life and it's been whooping my ass um, it's very different from my first pregnancy going through postpartum and everything because with that i was really like severely dealing with postpartum anxiety and depression at the time i didn't know like what anxiety was so having like anxiety attacks like i wasn't aware so i really thought i was out then it's like i was in a whole different mindset now it's like i don't really feel myself having postpartum depression you can say i have anxiety attacks all the time but now i'm like i'm used to anxiety and having anxiety attacks so i'm can control them if that makes sense or like when they start happening i'm not just so like freaked out about how my body is reacting to the anxiety that's that i just kind of breathe through it just take deep breaths count to 10 postpartum depression and stuff like that i'm not dealing with that this go around thank you lord as of right now because you know they said like it can come and go or last for up to like two years i think don't call me i don't know i'm not google as of right now not dealing with that fingers crossed it does not happen thank the lord sleep deprived it's getting a lot better because i have to have a sit down with my mans and tell him like me hallucinating is like why is that happening and it's a two-parent household you know you would have to be really sleep deprived for that to happen so i was like let's just calculate all the hours i'm not getting and the reason you wake up so refreshed so yeah we had to talk about that and ever since that chat your girls be getting some rest although i am still like very tired because i am having to wake up in the middle of the night with him and feed him he did try to do the whole little bottle feed during the night sometimes it happens if we can catch him before he like fully wakes up type of thing because you know you gotta warm up the bottle sometimes that bottle warmer do not work and mom cozy i am like send me my coin back because it don't be working all the time that's why i be tired sometimes now me i am just a like stress out person <laughs> i don't even know what that like i have anxiety <laughs> that's just what it is i have anxiety so like i get overstimulated really fast like dealing with two kids is it's a lot like <laughs> it is a lot and dealing with a newborn on its own is a lot so like imagine that plus a toddler make sure is he considered a toddler I don't know, that's a full-blown grown-ass man if you ask me. So, having to deal with, like, a kid and a newborn, it's like... <sighs> just talking about it made me sleepy. But yeah, it's been going great other than that. Don't, be, don't have me, like, sitting here and trying to make y'all seem like I don't like this shit. I love this shit, okay? What else about postpartum? My hair is falling out. God fuck damn. My hair... Hair is, I don't even know if y'all see. Y'all see this little bald? Oh my God. <laughs> my hair is falling out. And then I started putting my Yale's drops in my hair. Come to find out, the lady done sold a brand and the people who she sold it to put some chemicals in there that's making people's hair fall out. Thank you TikTok for letting me know this. But now I'm like, 
that's probably why my edges falling out because when I noticed my hair was falling out, y'all, I was doing them drops on my edges real bad because I'm like with Lady, uh, postpartum alopecia with him. This whole, I don't know if it was this side or this side, let me stop. <laughs> One side of my edges was like a bald spot, like a chunk came out. And that's why I had cut my hair initially the very first time because I was, uh, I wasn't myself. One, two, my hair was falling out. So I was just like chop, chop, chop. But come to find out my girl might be the one who taking this shit out. I'm gonna throw it away. I'd be thirsty. That shit was wet. <laughs> I'd be thirsty all the time okay parched that's because i breastfeed let's get into that is it just me or the breastfeeding mommies out there do y'all feel like when you need to pump or when the baby is feeding you can feel the hormonal switch like is it am i crazy or i'm just really in tune with my body but i feel like it really happens when i pump so that's really why I kind of stop pumping like I'll probably pump once to twice maybe a day if I feel like it mostly once a day once every other four or five days I stop pumping because when I start pumping I can be so happy when I start pumping it just like energetically I just get so tired and so drained and I get so sad and I'm like what the is going on let me stop cussing my bad i'm like what the hell is going on <laughs> that ain't no better but hell ain't a cuss word i'm like what the hell is going on is it just me or is that like really real i need to google that because i feel like i'm not tripping i get a wave of just sadness and that's probably why people be like depressed and stuff because you know they be wanting you to pump 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 to keep your supply up girl you ain't gotta do all that. Mm, you ain't gotta do all that just make sure you drink your water Get you some coconut water, some body armor. Make sure you eat uh, oatmeal every morning. Sprinkle some cinnamon up in there because I guess the cinnamon be activating the oatmeal. I don't know. <laughs> don't quote me. Just eat right. Drink a lot of fluid. Eat that oatmeal and you'll be good. Like, I don't even feel like you need to, like, pump three hours to, like, keep your supply up. But, yeah, I really stopped pumping because I'm, like, I don't like that feeling. And then it's, like, I can't shake it that fast after I'm done pumping. It's just, like... It drains my spirit and my soul and my mental. So I stop. Let me know down below if I'm not the only one who feels like that. If you get a whole like emotional switch when you're pumping, let me know. It's it's something, it's chemically something. And I know it is. I'ma Google it. Watch. I'ma Google it. I'm gonna be in the comments like I told you it. <laughs> so yeah, I'd really be thirsty. A thousand. Like I'd be parched. I can go through like five of these in an hour. I, I was already doing that, but now it's like intensified. I'm just like throwing shit at y'all, okay, my bad. I'm thinking about going back to work. They want me to come back really, really bad. I kinda wanna go. Is it bad that I kinda wanna go because I just feel like I need a break like these people in this house. <laughs> but I feel like I need to like go. And the simple fact, I ain't finna just be in debt for no reason. Like I went to school for this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with it, you know? I think I'm gonna go back to work. I don't know when I want to do that. <laughs> I don't know when I want to do that and just thinking about doing that kind of gives me the ick because I've only had like one real job in my whole life and I was like 16 y'all oh my god. But like I said when I was doing it it was so fun like it was so fun. Um, I had the best time doing something I love to do. Working in a dental office is like so much fun. Well at least the one I was at. <laughs> The least the one I was at, everybody got along, we always chit chat, stories was on 10, okay, so yeah, it was fun. But yeah, I'm really thinking about going back now because like I said, I was not joking. I really feel like, I really feel like that will give me a break and a peace of mind. Um, the reason why I did it initially is because I was so tired of being in my house. I was like, I need to do something. But as I'm talking, I'm like, maybe I don't want to work. I just need to find a hobby outside of my house that I can go to, then I'll be fine. Pilates or something, I don't know, maybe I'll be fine. But my brain is saying, I need to go to work. At least I can be doing something that's gonna give me some money too, you know? Um. So yeah, I might do that. I wanna do that. I wanna do that because I really do like being in people's mouth. As nasty as that sounds, like y'all, I wanted to be an orthodontist. Because although I was an orthodontic and I'm not gonna be orthodontic because that schooling takes forever. I had so much fun. And I think I'm gonna do that. <sighs> Make my baby a stay-at-home daddy because it's like, it's your turn, shorty. <laughs> it's 
your turn, Jordy. Let me go do what I gotta do out there in the field. So yeah, and, and I'll still be doing this because I love y'all. We we locked in. But yeah, um, that's that. What else? Ever since I went like cold turkey on um alcohol, cause y'all y'all was here in my days when I was giving <laughs> lit in the club, lit in the backseat. <laughs> Ever since I had to like stop because I had Azurai, um, I kind of like, it's not my vibe anymore. I'm saying that. But my heart is saying, tequila, tequila, tequila. <laughs> Listen, it's not really my vibe anymore. Um, yeah, it's really not my vibe anymore. I really like the wines, the white wines, you know. I'm not really like a red wine girly because it's really bitter, but like white wines, margaritas here and there. You know, hard liquor though, I think I'm gonna pass. I think I'm gonna pass because just thinking about a shot literally is giving me the chills. Like I'm literally getting the chills. Yeah, pass. I'm literally getting the chills, wow. Oh, that's my body telling me, you don't need it, you don't need it. Maybe it's my body saying, you don't need it, girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> life, life has been life. And adulting is so ghetto. These months are just going by so fast. It's, it feels like I be paying 13,000 bills back to back to back every day okay it just be bills coming every day you know how like when we was little and your parents always used to be like it's always something and we like girl it can't be that hard it's literally always something that's why i don't even check my mail i don't check my mail no more because every time i check the mail it's a bill like what is this even for who made this up <laughs> and then started football so now i'm a football mommy i've always wanted to be like a sports parent you know the extra out ones when it's like game day we bring in all the kids little snacks and goodie bags um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. He's playing flag football. My man's is that dude. Um, what is that, the one-on-ones? <sighs> we haven't had a, a real game yet, so we're gonna see how he does with that. But at practice, he be breaking these kids' ankles, okay? So hopefully, he could do that in the game and not like psych himself out. We'll see that, y'all see that, cause I'ma film it. I'ma film it just so he can have like film to watch back so we can, uh, do this, do that, do that, cause I'm real serious. When it comes to sports, football, oh yeah, y'all gonna think I'm the coach. And I'm like, who's the loudest mom on the team? Okay, cause woo, it's about to get hectic. What else is stressing me out? I just feel like, <laughs> I probably shouldn't put a disclaimer earlier in the video. I sound like this because I'm sick. I'm getting over a cold. Anyways, um, what else is going on in my life? Not really much of nothing, y'all. I have a newborn. I feel like when you have a newborn, like really nothing in your life is going on because it consists of that baby 24 seven. And then I have another kid on top of that. So like my life is just kid, 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 kid. Y'all hear me screaming for help? I'm just kidding. I'm really like, it, I really just be making jokes because that's hot cope with stuff. But like, I'm really okay. I'm really okay. Like I said earlier, I really feel like this go around has been a thousand times better. It's completely different. I'm not dealing with postpartum depression. I'm really okay. The jokes is just to help me cope. A little bit of things that's going on you know, that are not that serious, but they serious to me. Y'all, I'm not, it's not bleed twice if you need help. Like, I'm really for real. <laughs> Let me stop. I don't know, y'all just gonna come along for this journey, okay? Because we about to start finding hobbies to do outside this house because I don't wanna be around them. <laughs> we need a break. We need a break from the boys, okay? It needs to be one and two. We need a break from the boys. Yeah, it was nice chatting with you guys. Felt like we were on FaceTime here, like we was doing a one-two. I wish we could really do a one-two. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening to me talk because I don't even know what I was talking about. Brain, go on. If you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, why? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, bye guys. Bye.